Guys, today is the day that I wrap my car. I'm getting the paint protection film put onto it. Let's check it out and see what the progress is on it here at Austin, Austin Detailing. All right, we're gonna go in here and look at, we're gonna go check out my car and see how it's going. Oh, let's actually, let's jump over here and see what we got here. It's a brand new Tesla. Looks like they're getting that uh, that clear PPF on top of it. My boy Jackson here, the rap magician, doing his thing. They've been doing it so long that they've perfected it pretty well. Is this the eight mil? Yeah, it's eight mil. Man, it doesn't even look like there's anything on there. Look at that. They're in the works of it. Ooh, look at it, it looks legit. Oh my goodness. You can see here the difference between the satin and the regular paint. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference between the two for sure. And they got me parked over here next to a $200,000 car, this M8 BMW, looking legit. But I still like mine, pretty cool. Satin PPF here. Right here, you can't see it, but there's clear there. There's clear here. Over here, we got clear over there. Clear here. Keep this even clear on this. I don't even know why there's clear on there. This is why I like this place. On the back here, you can see it on the back. This is the only place that does the uh, one piece back so that there's no seams. It's gonna be legit. It looks, I don't know how they're gonna do it. It's like a condom for my car. <laughs> Pretty much. Protection. What do we do for a living? It's probably one of the reasons why it costs so much because this shit looks crazy. All right, uh, yeah, that's good. Looks good, look at that, check that out. All right, it's the next day. We're gonna go check out how the car is looking right now. We'll take it from there, but let's go inside. Let's see how many Teslas they got up in there today. You gotta get, protect the paint. They got smart, they did it right before, right when they bought the car. Don't listen to me. I did it like three or a month and a half later and I got like little rock dings on it, but very smart. Just the PPF in the front, it's gonna be clear. Save her from some dings and stuff. Man, it just looks nice. It just looks nice. Yeah, I almost went with that color. Something told me to get black with white, white seats, so why not? Anyway, back to my car. <gasps> it's done. Who stole my rims? I got the rims going somewhere. They're checking it because I'm having like vibration issues around like 75 or 80 and i tried to take it to tesla they couldn't figure it out the discount tire has no idea what's going on so funny enough i actually took it here to brian's place and he's gonna check it out didn't know he deals with tires but hey that's full service hmm i wonder <laughs> I had to make sure it still worked so what they're putting on right now is a ceramic coating by Fine Labs and it's just going to help keep your car clean. If there's dust and stuff on it, all you got to do is just put a hose to it. <laughs> uh, finally, the day is here. I look crazy like a crackhead. I went to the doctor and, you know, I'll tell you the story about it later. So, I'm here to pick up my car, Austin Detailing. Uh, they wrapped it and it looks freaking phenomenal. Come on, check it out. Here it is. Austin's new Batmobile. Look at this piece of art. I've always wanted a matte car. I mean, a, a, a like a blacked out, like satin finished car. This is amazing. This here is a, uh, this is a paint protection film. 
It's got a premium shield, uh, satin finish. That's, that's where you're seeing the kind of matte kind of finish here where it's not as glossy, but it still has a little bit of shine. On top of this, they also put on a fine lab, like a five year PPF uh, uh, ceramic coating around the whole ordeal too. You, they also did some coating on the glass as well. And uh, the good thing about the coating is it's easier to clean the car. Like you, all you'll have to do is just like put a hose to it, and you know pretty much everything will fall right off. So they ceramic coated the rims, ceramic coated the, the brakes. Uh, they ceramic coated like this, even this black trim right here, and it it used to have like white spots on it, and now pretty much it's all black, so it's all gone. They even ceramic coated like all the glass and everything, so it's like super 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 easy to clean and it's gonna shine like this the whole car is a full PPF wrapped and I told them to keep the uh, the badge off uh, the next time I come back I'm gonna get the Tesla logo um, the word actually put on the back here so it's gonna look cool again everything is blacked out black on the outside we got white on the inside it looks sweet I'm super stoked and uh, I guess I don't know what else I can do with my car maybe I'll you know get the uh, the brake calibers painted next time i come here i think next week we're gonna put on some alloy gators because i kind of had an issue with a curb me and a curb had a had a chat the other day but i don't want to show it to you guys so we're gonna get that fixed and then we're gonna put some alloy gators on there so it can protect your rims but right now i'm gonna get in this thing and head on out make sure you guys like subscribe comment you might have had your car wrapped let me know you know send me any kind of links to your instagram your pictures i'm gonna see because like wrapping these teslas is awesome like this place has about maybe eight different teslas inside and they're all wrapped like all different colors but yeah i love this whole satin finish i am so excited so excited Of course, of course, of course, it rains the day after I get my car back from getting it detailed and getting my wrap on it. But you know, this is just another one of those tests to see how how good it it uh, goes up against the rain, especially with this new um, Fine Lab ceramic coating that they keep talking about. So I'll take a video outside. And, been driving in the rain for like 10 minutes now um, apparently it's supposed to beat off of your car really easily not beat off of your car but beat off of your car you nasty you nasty minded get your mind out the gutter but <clears throat> okay okay I see a car in front but we'll check it out I'll let you I'll let you know what's going on and uh, I'll record a little video so I'm gonna pull in under this garage here in a second of course it's raining outside right now. It's been raining all day. My car's been out here. Uh, I've been driving it around as well. Raining when I'm driving it too, but it's not, there's no rain right now. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the ceramic coating and the non-ceramic coating. So I'm gonna show you my car first, check it out. This is my car after the rain. Yeah. It looks like it just got washed is pretty nice check it out this is the water beads that they keep talking about the little water beads or whatever right this is a car that does not have the water beads and it's just like stuck on the car look at the difference this is crazy just beads right off this is i'm gonna show you this other car over here <laughs> This is this is how rain looks like on a regular car. This is how rain looks like on a regular windshield. All right? Look at my windshield. Beads. Completely different. I can see perfectly. It's crazy. Look, this is the top. Look, like little little micro beads or whatever. I I don't understand it. I guess the coating does all this 
to where it just doesn't stick to the car. So, little micro beads. So it works, that, it works. Um, I mean, it works. It's crazy how it works, but it works. It's like my car just got washed <laughs> by the rain, which is so cool. Um, but yeah, ceramic coating, if you ain't got it, you gotta get it, cause that's proof right there, right next to the car next to us. Peace.